I'm just excited to be here and I can't wait to see how far the guys have gotten. Let's turn this around, see where they're at. You're seeing it at the same time I'm seeing it, which is kind of exciting. So let's see what we've got going on. Looks beautiful. <laughs> Everything here is around 3,000 to almost 5,000 pounds. So you can see Udi behind me standing on top of one. Ironically enough, the biggest one here, we're gonna set first. It's really looking incredible, I love it. That staircase is my favorite part so far. It's just super cool. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a little crisp, but it feels good. We actually tend to do our best work this time of year, not to take anything away from those guys. We did projects for back in August and June and July, but there's something about the, the crispness of the air, the cooling down of the summer. We just kind of get a second wind. We've got another basically season underneath us for that much more practice, but I'm excited to be out here. We're out at our Palos Park job. I'll call it day one, just because the first day and a half I was out here all by myself. So I put in a good nine, 10 hours out here by myself. And now we've got the whole crew sitting back behind me. So we've got aqua blocks being built. We're gonna go ahead and double stack these. So I've got 60 aqua blocks going in, which will give us close to 2000 gallons of water below ground. So today's goal is to get those down into this big hole I dug. So we'll get that stuff done today, get that all set up. I'll run through it again really quick with you how we do it, but I'll wait till we get to the point of execution, I guess. So big day we can get that stuff in the ground today then we can start setting some of the rocks let me actually show you some of the rocks that we've got picked out Illinois brick always comes through for us they've been a supplier of ours for a long long time shout out to Joel you're killing it for us thanks so much for all of the hard work and effort you put into getting us this stone you keep us running so we really appreciate it but there's the plug for Illinois brick <laughs> anyhow here's the stone we've got some massive boulders in here which is great like look at the size of that thing just awesome we got some really nice big weathered limestone sitting back in here. We've got two more loads coming from Illinois Brick. And then we've got another one coming from a CAC of ours, Bobby Kerr. Look at that one with the tree growing out of it. Like just awesome. All kinds of great stone will at least get started. I can see this one getting set right away. I can see that one getting set right away. This big guy we need. And the reason we need so many big stones is because of that giant drop but between these stones and then these flat ones we're using for those stairs. Way over there, there's a staircase that comes up and out of the reservoir with stepping stones that kind of come across to feed the fire pit area. We'll probably also sneak in a couple over in this area. So today's goal, reservoir goes in and stones get set, some of them. I would imagine we're out here for a good 10 days before we get the whole thing finished. things are moving right along. I sent the rest of the team back to the office to do some cleanup work because we're at the point now where it's just setting one large rock at a time and to keep you know five other guys four other guys out here busy would be really difficult. So I got Micho and Juan over here 
we're actually taking the leftover panels from the aqua blocks remember when we stacked those two together we actually gained an extra panel so we put those over the top of our existing aqua blocks the ones down here in the hole and that'll strengthen the top of this reservoir quite a bit which is really important when we're looking at setting some massive boulders on top so we're going to start coming in we've got our whole reservoir in we're going to start building this waterfall and just start getting some of this stuff in here i really want to start kind of in this area just to retain all of that stuff in there this waterfall will be visible from back over in there and then of course this waterfall is visible from the fire pit area where i'm filming from we'll try to get this done in the next couple days work on those stone steps and see how far we can get here we go of a crazy morning lots and lots of rain last night flooded things out more importantly because it's muddy here then unloading a truck makes the street really muddy we've spent the first half of the day unloading what's actually some pretty awesome weathered limestone from grand river stone bobby kerr out there actually facebook messaged these stones saw them had the project and said bring these things out and so this is our first load everything here is around three thousand to almost five thousand pounds so you can see udi behind me standing on top of one ironically enough the biggest one here we're gonna set first so check this one out i just love all the moss and everything on it it's got a lot of size to it and we need to get up high quick so that's about a four foot high stone twice the height of that man <laughs> so we're gonna strap this guy up get it set over there and start building this waterfall hopefully we get some big stones set before our next load shows up guys can tell but it rained quite a bit last night as you can see the basin is overflowing but I don't think that's gonna stop us is it Micho? I don't think it is man we're here today so let's give it a go Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brian with Team Aquascape and I am back out here in Palos, that project with that infinity edge thing that we were working on. I pulled off for two days. Chris has been out of town or on vacation for a week and he actually filled in for me the last two days, <coughs> which doesn't make me nervous at all. It makes me sad because I was super excited to continue to work on this project, but I had to pull off to go do Greg's little pond and give him a hand and some CACs over there, some help with uh, building that, which was a ton of fun. I feel like I'm and it's because I'm just excited to be here and I can't wait to see how far the guys have gotten in the last two days so let's turn this around see where they're at you're seeing it the same time I'm seeing it which is kind of exciting so let's see what we've got going on looks beautiful <laughs> I think the most important thing is, is a lot of our stone is out here. We've got some big kind of uninteresting chunks sitting in here, but a lot of these simple pieces will just be used for retaining walls. And then we've got some other stuff, with a lot more mosses and lichens and stuff that'll be coming. And we've still got a couple more loads that need to come out here, but let's get in closer and see where Chris left off and how far they've gotten. 
So they got that urn up in there. Oh, there's the man, the myth, the legend. Woo, look at that stone staircase. Now that is just awesome. That is super cool. If you can remember last time we were out here, we kind of left in here. So Chris really got at it and got all of these in here, which is nice. And then this will probably flatten off a little bit and might have to sneak in a couple more. Remember, we pulled that rock out. It was driving us crazy and we replaced it with urn, which looks great. So they've really got some stuff done. They got the urn in there and then got to these rocks and the most importantly, these stone steps. Looking good. <laughs> and the sun is out. The first time in like a week that the sun has been out. Things are just awesome. We're gonna get at it here after lunch and hopefully get that waterfall finished up by the end of the week. We'll see where we're at. All right guys, we're gonna start working on this waterfall. It's about a seven foot drop from there to down here. I would love nothing more than to just do a big seven foot sheet of water. But the easiest way to do that is to find an eight foot boulder over here, an eight foot boulder over here, and then a seven foot spillstone. And those don't exist out on this job site. And stacking rocks on top of each other never looks really good. And I really wanna to try to create a big tall sheet if I can someplace. It'll help from the other side pull off that infinity edge. And then from this area where the machine sitting as our fire pits will also look very impressive. It'll be fun to light that up and everything else. So the plan is if we can't find a seven foot stone to terrace this waterfall a little bit. Instead of terracing it on top and doing a small drop and then a big drop, what we're going to do is actually come in off of this, build up a base, get a smaller drop down here and then a big drop that falls down into that space. So right now we're going to kind of start working from this rock and twist around that way trying to get our base. We'll end up back filling with gravel and then get a two foot base or something, two foot, three foot base where we can set our frame rocks for that large fall. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, through the power of video, it'll all come together. Big frame rocks. Like I don't even know if the camera is doing that thing justice, but that is a big rock. I am like that big against that rock. It's a little bit taller than Chris. <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking for for this big frame rock. So you can see we built a little fall right here, which will look really great. Then backfilled all of that with gravel. That gives us an enormous base to set this big frame rock on, making it really easy. Also setting it on this gravel, and this is just like a round pond gravel, they call it. Makes it really easy to hold the straps out. Well, that's a wrap. Um, I'm actually super happy. It was fun to be out here. Chris and the guys actually killed it the last few days they were out here and I was messing around with the pond guy over there. But it's really looking incredible. I love it. That staircase is my favorite part so far. It's just super cool. But today, Chris and I tackled the other waterfall because we were over here. So it's going to be really cool where I left off with you guys as we kind of built this up so our frame rocks got up a little bit higher. So we got a big frame rock there, shorter one here. What we try to avoid is creating that field goal post look which can look really artificial so we got a big tall one there something a little shorter than that and then we stack up on top of it and you can see back behind this is just a huge bed of gravel we went through probably six tons of gravel today and then we'll get a nice spill here so that's about two and a half three feet wide right in there we'll get a nice drop all the way down into here get some lights on there and then just behind it which is probably another two to three foot grade change we'll get a wider fall that comes down and then narrows back down to come into here Love that. We also got some of this retaining wall stuff done for the fire pit. And so I feel like we did pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stones ish. I feel like I'm talking and everybody else is leaving me. So I think that means it's time to go home. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.